Sounds like we're going camping. <laughs> That's the classic. I don't always eat dehydrated meat products. When I do, I enjoy a good glass of Beaujolais, and I always make sure that it's a Jay Irwin's classic beef jerky. Mm. Really the best you can put in your bag. Campers, it's September. Scott and I are heading back to the park, finally. It's happening. We're going for four days. We had uh, briefly considered doing the Sunbeam Dreams loop up into uh, Burnt Island, Sunbeam, Tom Thompson, but wind and possible wet weather have made us switch our directions. We're actually going to go south down into uh, Smoke Lake and Ragged Lake. Pretty happy to see some nice weather ahead of us for our paddle in. The forecast for this week has been kind of up and down so far, but today anyway, it looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, well, it's a beautiful morning here in Algonquin. I imagine most of them are. But this one has a particular shine to it. Back here with my buddy Jay for Camp and Adventure 2016. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've missed a couple years. And uh, we just returned two weekends ago from taking the kids out. But now it's dad's time. Hard to imagine enjoying a cigar in much finer surroundings than these. We're pretty lucky here. Alrighty campers, we have successfully navigated Smoke Lake with a little bit of a tailwind, which was quite nice. It's still early, and uh, we're going to boogie down ragged and make our way into Big Porcupine. Beautiful day in Algonquin. Imagine that.
All right, this is the 590 into Big Porcupine. Here we go. You ready to rock and roll there, buddy? Whoa. Okay, I found the devil staircase. <laughs> Up we go. Hi there. Hi. Is it all downhill after this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. Wow, that was a lot of uphill sustained uphill. Got to check out this massive pine on site. That is an oldie and a goodie. Somehow still managing to stand here despite the barren roots. Today looks like it's going to be another sunshiny day. 
They are talking about a couple of days of wet stuff. We'll see how that pans out. We'll have Tarp City all rigged up and ready. But for now, I'm content to bask in the sun. Had a great sleep last night, despite Scott's snoring. Got quite cold, down to zero-ish. But snug as a bug in the hammock. Day two. Are we camping yet? Campers, a little bit of follow camping with the kids. Taking Big Red. We're going for four days. It's supposed to get a little bit wet. We're gonna hit Penn Lake and uh, maybe do a little fishing, a little swimming. Ooh, tripod. Don't wanna forget that. Oh yeah. Nobody likes a shaky shot. Look at that! Well, that looks like a volcano starting to erupt. We're right there? Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, car coming. went through a torrential rainstorm that lasted at least 30 seconds. <laughs> we just stopped for a little snacky. It's nice to be back in the water again. Sure miss the paddly paddles. Just go for it. Come on. Maggie, I'm videotaping this. You said you were going to be the first one in. Justin. With no beaking. Nobody. Justin! Got this. This is what you do. You're the champ. If you're going to do it, you got to do it now. You're wasting his memory. <gasps> you're, you're wasting that. Time. Enough nipping from the peanut gallery. If you want me to do it, then go in with me. No. You were the one who wanted Eddie. You're gonna get one more jujube than everybody else if you go in within the next 30 seconds. No pressure. 29. 28. Yeah! Who's the champ? Who's the champ? Get out of here. 
What are you talking about? That's the worst. We're underwear models. Look at these physiques. I can be the same from the exact same place. One, two, Do the three. GoPro shut off. Go! Alrighty. I pretty well start every video clip with alrighty. And something about campers. Campers, here we are, day three. We're battening down the hatches, putting up some tarpery in advance of the uh, oncoming rain. Here's where Scott has relocated. He was up there on the uh, windy bluffs. But that was a little much last night. Tarp section number two. Another nice big guide tarp. That'll be our cooking area. And my hammocks nestled nicely in here in the windproof zone. So we're pretty well set. And my arm is getting really tired carrying around this SLR like it's a GoPro. Because it's not. Make sure everything's uh, ship shape and shine here and then we're gonna head out for a little paddle before the rain.
Drift down this little canal here. No, you're talking, laddie. That's oh, good, that. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> four awesome days down here in Algonquin Park. We are just about to do a portage here that is labeled on the map as the Devil's Staircase. You know, nobody really probably loves portaging, but lots of people hate portaging. So if you want to get to the parts of the park where there's less people and a lot more peace and quiet, you got to do this kind of stuff to get in there. 600 meters, it's not a killer, but there's some serious elevation changes here. Lots of unsteady footing. Fun for everybody. Here we go. handed knot tie in here. There we go. Back in biz. This direction of the portage heading from Porcupine Lake up into Ragged Lake. Starting from this direction is certainly an easier go. Uh, but man getting to that other side it's going to be some serious downhill action for us. I tell you, on the way in, I did this portage with a pack on my shoulders. And I've got a little pack on there now, but this is infinitely more comfortable. Of course, I'm only about 80 meters in, so ask me again in another few hundred. We're slowly and steadily descending here, and really going this direction, it's not so bad at all. You feel that you're putting on the brakes a little bit, but it's certainly not anything where you're running away from yourself downhill. But let me tell you, coming up the other way, this is a whole other piece of work. It's really greasy now. When Jay and I came in, it was nice and dry. So, uh, sure footing here is paramount for safety, that's for sure. couple hundred meters in now and I'm definitely starting to feel the familiar portage burn in the old neck and shoulder muscles. 
believe those are called your traps, dude. You wouldn't know because you don't have any. Do you even lift canoes, bro? Whoa. We're getting into some of the steep sections now. Every step you gotta take that's anything deeper than what you want to bounces the canoe off your shoulders that little bit more. These little loggy sections here <laughs> are definitely the devil's staircase going up or down. Slippy McGee. to this point. There's just no comfortable place to put the canoe anymore. We gotta be close. Try not to think about it. Oh, not pleasant. But here we are. All of a sudden, the trees open up. There's a little extra sunshine. Gurgle of some water. Good God. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at sweet tailwinds to push us the rest of the way home today, so we'll be taking it at a nice easy pace. And uh, now we're going to turn around and go back and get the other packs. Yeah, we'll see you shortly. Sixteen, baby. <laughs> 